Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July the 9th of 2020, well, it is titled the Noctilucent Clouds and Comet Neowise. So what do we see here? Well, we see a couple of things here in the early morning sky. Uh, we see, first of all, standing out towards the right side of the image is a comet known as Neowise. Now that actually a comet gets its name by its discoverer, and this happened to have been discovered by a satellite known as the Near Earth Object Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer. So it searches for objects that pass near the Earth, and it happened to detect, and in its searches, happened to detect this comet. Now, the comet is actually visible in the morning sky and vis actually visible to the naked eye. Not extremely bright at this point, but there are hopes that it will brighten uh, over the next couple of weeks as it transitions from the morning sky into the evening sky, and that perhaps later this month it will be nicely visible in the evening sky to those in the northern hemisphere. Now, of course, comets are very unpredictable, so we don't know for sure what it will do. Comets can break apart, and they may brighten more or less than we actually expect. It is not something that is, uh, can be predicted well in advance. But there are hopes that we will have a chance to see a comet coming up here uh, easily in the next couple of weeks. Now, the other thing that we see are some clouds. The clouds are what we call noctilucent clouds or night shining, meaning that they shine even though the uh, sun has, is not above the horizon. So they are illuminated, they are actually high enough in the sky that they see around the curvature of the earth. And that allows them to be illuminated even when other objects or lower clouds would not be illuminated. Similar to if you watch a sunset, you can watch the sun set for you on the ground but still see tall trees still bathed in the sunlight because they are at a much higher location. Well, this works to an even greater extent because these clouds are actually miles and miles up above the surface of the Earth, so very high in the atmosphere and much easier for them to be able to see around the curvature of the Earth and to still be bathed in the glow of sunlight even while the rest of the ground still is, has a while to wait before the sun will rise. So they're very common when we have uh, very uh, high clouds up high in the atmosphere, give us a chance to see these noctilucent clouds. So here we get to see the noctilucent clouds and again the comet as well. Very nice image of it here and hopefully a chance to see it with the naked eye right now in the very early morning sky, but we'll be transitioning to the evening sky over the coming week and hopefully in a week or two, it may even get a chance to brighten more and give us a chance to see a nice naked eye comet in the Northern Hemisphere. So that was our picture of the day for July the 9th of 2020. It was titled Noctilucent Clouds and Comet Neowise. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.